Welcome to Hollywood Talks. This is Belle Hernandez, your host. Today, we get to speak to actor, producer, and restaurateur, Guillermo Zapata. He came to the U.S. in 1992 to continue his pursuit of acting. He started working in a kitchen in 1992, and by 1998, he was buying his own restaurant. He did a few acting gigs and worked a lot in commercials. We're going to talk to Guillermo about the film that took him five years to produce. He is the lead and executive producer. So let's get started. Welcome to Hollywood Talks, Guillermo. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me to, to give me the chance to um, go back to you, no? Yes, it's so wonderful to, to uh, see you again. I know that we spoke to you on another show called The Trend Talk. And actually, I've been to your beautiful, wonderful restaurant, uh, Sur. Sur, correct, in West Hollywood. West West Hollywood. Let's talk about your new project, which is the film Shadow of the Cat. The Shadow of the Cat. Brenda. En cambio, yo escuché muchísimo sobre el famoso gato. ¿Eh? ¿De dónde viene ese nombre? Hmm. ¿De quién me llamaban? <ríe> Te queda mucho mejor beber que hablar. Hmm. Brenda, adiós. ¿Cómo está? ¿Has visto a mi hija? Emma. Ella no juega con los otros bebés. And it's interesting because, you know, going back to the interview that we had a couple of years ago, I was telling you in that time that I was trying to put together, you know, um, a film. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, it, it took me five years to get all the, the from way beginning, the story that I that I wanted to and try to develop and make it happen, you know. But before we get into the film, Guillermo, I want to talk a little bit about you. And Correct. you mentioned about dreams and having the dream of being a filmmaker and an actor. So tell us about that dream, because that's what brought you to Los Angeles. When did you get here and what was it like? coming to a, a foreign country and just starting on your dream of being an actor. Yeah, correct. In, in, in 1992, I was 22 years old and, and I already started the career as an actor. My father, was a, he was an actor, known actor, he passed away, but you know, I, I grew up in a family, an artist family. So since I was a kid, I, I was always involved in what is acting and you know, performance and an early age, I started working in Argentina as an actor. So by 22 years old, I decided to visit the, the, the city of my dream, which it, what, what it was Los Angeles, what it is, you know, in Los Angeles. So I, I came to Los Angeles. I, 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 I was a tourist. I visited LA, you know, uh, for 10 days. And then I fall in love. You know, sometimes you go to a trip and you fall in love with, with a lady, a, a gentleman, whatever, you know, happened that you fall in love and, and there is something that I will attach you to that, that place, particular place in that time. And mm -hmm. sometimes it's hard to uh, separate. In my case, I fall in love with the city. So strong the feeling of, of, of being in the city of my dream that I, I, I needed to stay longer. And, you know, it, it, you know, like many other immigrants, you know, in that moment, I found myself with, um, with no money in my pocket and with no English, with no friends, but with a, a strong desire to stay there. And uh, well, I find I, I asked to another. Uh, I was drinking a coffee in a place on Melrose in Hollywood. 
And I asked a, a worker, you know, Spanish worker, how do you make it to work in, in forget about the acting, you know? So I, in that moment, I said, you wanted I to live, you wanted to stay. get some money to survive. Exactly. So I was about to, the day after, I was about to fly back to Argentina. And I, so they explained that, you know, usually when we came over here, uh, we start from zero practically. You know, you will have to go in the back of the kitchen, you have uh, be a dishwasher, and from there, you know, you. By the time you can grow, you know, it's all depend on you. So that was a great advice that he gave me. And immediately I asked, there is a chance for me to work here. Do you know if I can speak with someone? I spoke with someone, was the owner. And in that moment, I remember that vividly. And he, they gave me the job the day. So the day after I, I decided to start a new life, I got a job and I never came back. But you did, you did really well. You did uh, some roles and you really did well in commercials. You started doing a lot of commercials. Correct. I was able to get a SAG member. Like I said, I was in, in 1992, I was already, you know, that's what I decided. By 1994, I was already SAG member. So, that's you know, I, I moved. Yeah. So I, I'm till today, you know, I'm still a proud member of SAG. Okay. So now let's get to the movie because you didn't do the lead roles that you were searching for not a lot of lead roles, but you created a fantastic lead role for yourself in this movie, The Shadow of the Cat. So at first, tell me, where did the idea for this film come from? Like I said, I started involved in short film, producing a small thing, and all of a sudden I'm still more comfortable and stronger in order to say, well, I'm, it's time for me to go to the big, you know, to the big, um, try to do the, the big film, you know, so why not? You know, so let's let start to figure it out. How do I do that? So I, I, I came up with an idea and that idea was like, I have a dream about the, 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 the in, in, in Spanish is seven life of the cat. And in American, I think they call, they call it that the cat have nine lives or something like right. that. Mm -hmm. So um, I have a dream about it, a very strong dream about it. So I slowly I start getting some ideas and I start writing some ideas to create, mm -hmm. I'm not a writer, so I'm real life, but I do need to have some idea of what I wanted to. Mm -hmm. so, Putting all this idea together, I say, okay, I'm gonna put this little capital that I have on money, investing in a writer. I share with director Jose Sicala, which is he's in Argentina, which is famous uh, photographer and for 30 years photographer, great photographer. And I knew that he started getting some into videos, into films and that. So he was, have the same passion like me. We kind of have a lot of experience, but we were like a new and try to do together. So we find each other in, in, in a moment that we both need each other. Yeah. He in Argentina, me in here. So we combine, and I respect a lot of his style of a filmmaker. And so I share the script with him. He said, well, let's partnership. But if I'm gonna direct the film, I wanna do it on my own style, which is, this is what I like to do. And he took over the script, he changed it. He did his own style, which is I respect that a lot. You know, when someone put whatever they are in, 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 in the project. And he brought this project, which is, you know, the shadow of the cat uh, with the script by him, with it, the idea. And I and together we, we, we start moving forward. Proud to let you know that, you know, my film was able to be choose by Apple TV and Amazon. So. But the film looks beautiful. That's his work. That's Jose Sicala's work. Is that correct? Correct. Jose Sicala's work. Now that you've transitioned on to include Danny Trejo, how did that come about? Because he is not only has a role in it, but he's also the executive producer. So how did Danny Trejo come and in, become involved with the film? It is all about, um, it's a lot about connection, you know, good, good, you know, people that you meet, people that you know from the past. And in this case, uh, his manager, Gloria Hinojosa, which is used to be my agent in that time, long time ago. So we became good friend and then somehow my life went for this direction. And then I find her in that time that I was looking for. Um, so, you know, Destiny put us together and uh, I share with her, you know, this is what I have in mind. I would love to, you know, this the strip. This is what we got so far. I know that we are far away for this happen, but you know, if I'm, if you can tell me to have Danny involved in this, uh, Mr. Trejo, you know, in, in, in this project, I can, you know, if you like it, we can just find a way how you guys can get involved with it. So she said, well, let me think about it. Let me talk with uh, Mr. Trejo and, and we will get back to you. And they get back to me and they say, you know, we like the project. You know, 
So then I had to keep doing and working and find investors and partners and this. And and um, you shot in Argentina. Correct. Right? And Correct. so also, is this Danny Trejo's first English, a Spanish language uh, role? Because he doesn't do a lot of Spanish language. Correct. Work. As far as I know, he always was mentioned to me that he was doing like Spanish English parts, small parts. So they, I mean, he's talking about, we're talking about it, someone that he had 400 films. Right. You know? right. So I'm, I'm, I mean, it's like an honor to work with him. I mean, it's, it's like dream come true. That's what it, the way that I describe it, you know? And um, it was a challenge for him too, because yes. the whole film is Spanish, you know, and filming in Argentina, which is, you know, it's far away from English back home in Argentina. How long did you shoot? A month. A month. And month, Danny, yeah. how long was he in Argentina? He was just uh, 12 days. But, yes. you know, imagine for him to fly all the way to Argentina, yeah. stay there for 12 days, and just have a heart like that, you know, enormous, always willing to help people, always giving giving, and, 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 and talented, and, and, and the energy that he has. I mean, it's just amazing. He has a beautiful soul. Everybody thinks he's this gruff, mean person because of the way he looks, but he's such a sweetheart, so... Uh, and this the interesting part that you mentioned that is that in the film, the director transformed him in, in like an angel. Yo solo quiero brillar. No te engañes, Rafaela. Se leal a tu arte. Eso, eso que va a ser que tus sueños so that's what the interesting part when you're going to see him in this film is the opposite of what Danny Trejo is but at the same time he's still a badass you know but in different way he's a he's more like a you know it's, 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 it's my shadow you know he's the one he will protect me but not only protect me but they always give me an advice so and the film is very um it's like it will make you think about a lot you know, you will probably have to watch it twice in order to under, understand it. If you understand it the first time, you know, it's like, whoa, you know, <laughs> it took me a lot, uh -huh. my preparation in order to get involved with this particular director, because he is into this kind of film that uh, they have to give it a message. It has to be something else. It's not a simple, normal life um, style of filming. You know, they it had to be total different you know he's kind of the school of like Guillermo del Toro, Almodovar, David Lynch, you know Tarantino he belonged to that kind of category and people have seen that and say wow this uh, this director is different. What is one of the most precious memory that you will take away from finally seeing your vision come to life and and now be out there for everyone to see? Um, I think it, you know, I'm always like to say that, you know, for me, this is, I, I, I enjoy the moment, but this is, is, is just the beginning of what I wanted to have. So we were able to do another three films that are coming right now. Um, Wait a minute, remember that you already shot three other films? 2019. You already shot other films? Three, you, three more films. Isabella? Yes. Oh so my God, I know you have one coming, up, coming, one coming up called The Lenins. About the Lenin and September it will coming out. Another um, this is but all the particular same style that this film, and um, and now I jump with another director, um, Eduardo Pinto to do another film in Argentina. So it is. I think for me it's just um, I I don't know I, I don't know how to express that, but you know I'm I'm, I'm for me they all are, are 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 beautiful memories. It's hard to say you know this is I done it. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna enjoy the moment. And, and I don't know, like I said, even in, in the pandemic, we were able to do two films in the pandemic wow. back in Argentina. <laughs> well, you, it seems like you go all out for whatever you're focused on. And here you, we thought, well, I thought you had one film and here you have three films. So congratulations, everybody. Please go see The Shadow of the Cat now on, uh, Apple TV, Prime Video, Voodoo, Fandango, Google right. Play, DirecTV, <laughs> and so many 
other platforms. I was interested in the Lennons because it's about John Lennon and Yoko. Right, it's, 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 it's about a John Lennon, but it's not John Lennon's. So it's someone that, you know, somehow ended up, you know, it's a, it's, it's a beautiful comedy story, musical comedy story that it, um, they have a sense of humor and, and, and you, you, you guys will see. Sooner or later we we'll give you all the interview and everything. And I play the role over there. I play the role. My character age is 82 years old. Oh my God. So I transform myself to, um, and that's what the beauty of acting, the beauty of work with Cicala, that he will don't take me the way that I am right now. He will definitely, you know, looking for different, um, you know, bring my acting all the way to uh, as much as I could, you know, so, and, and I love that. So well, you're a man that knows what he wants. You're a man that knows his limits and you're a man that strives to do the best and all that he can. It's amazing to meet someone with your drive and uh, I want to congratulate you on the movie. Beautifully shot. You are great in it and so is Danny and I urge everyone to please check it out on your streaming platform and also stay tuned for the other three. <laughs> Thank you so <laughs> Thank much. You so and much. I invite everyone you know, if they are um, near Sur or if they hear about the restaurant, come over and say hi to us that we always there. And thank you again. Oh, All right. And I, we keep.